last sight of land for quite some time. Uh, leaving Tasmania, we are out of Storm Bay and um, trying to milk this breeze that we have right now. It's going to go light overnight. It's going to be really challenging. There's a lot of swell and uh, winds can be very light and then it's going to shift directions and hopefully we can keep the boat moving and not break anything bouncing around and no breeze and big swell. Um, very, very full on and intense four day pit stop. Um, I really want to thank everyone in Tasmania who who helped us out and uh, we were just well taken care of. You know, the Royal Yacht Club in Tasmania were great hosts and uh, Jimmy from Jimmy's Sail and Canvas and the Quantum Loft there uh, took care of our sails and really grateful to Jimmy and, and Kat and also uh, uh, to Sam and Will from the uh, Alive Yachting team um, helped us out with some rigging and some composite stuff on the mast and trying to reduce some chafe and um, you know we had an electrician down there we had a diver down there inspecting the hall and uh, my buddy Jim from California was there and um, uh, Robbie Vaughn who used to work on this boat when she was in California like 20 years ago and uh, Ian a new friend and I'm sure I'm forgetting one or two people. Uh, Liv Coyne, an old friend of mine I've known for a long time. She, she helped us out with some logistics. And um, I mean, just a lot of people uh, really helped us out. And um, the Australian Border Force and Biosecurity, I mean, they cleared me in on New Year's Eve and made things really efficient and no hassles. And just, uh, I, I couldn't have pulled this off without a lot of people. and. I mean, none, none more so than my partner, Marissa. So huge thanks to Marissa. And um, it was really, really good to see her again and really hard to leave her and go back to sea. Um, but she brought down the autopilot from Maine and some other parts. And um, yeah, just uh, just really full of gratitude to so many people that that enabled me and helped me to uh, to get into port and uh, and to get out of here in, in just four days. So. We did the minimum length of a pit stop and um, just want to thank everyone who helped out. And um, We're going to have a challenging night with light breeze and a lot of swell, but hopefully we can get through it and get back in to some more breeze and, and, and make some miles and get right back in the race. So um, going to have our first sunset at sea here in a while. Should be a good one. And I've been to Hobart several times and it's always a really special place. And uh, uh, I wish I was here under different circumstances and I could uh, stay longer, but uh, even in the circumstances that I was here, there's really no better place to be than, uh, than here in Hobart. It's a great place to do a stopover if you're in a race like this. And um, yeah, so we're back at sea. Sorry I didn't post any when we were in port. I was just so incredibly, bu so incredibly busy. And, and also, oh yeah, Bradshaw and Tori from Antipodes and the crew from Antipodes helped us get the main off and did laundry and helped us with logistics. And um, uh, I apologize for anyone that I forgot, but you know, we had, we had a lot of people that helped us out and also Richard Goldsmith um, and uh, Dave Peterson and uh, Peter Quinn and some other people that helped, uh, helped us out before we got into port. And just, um, yeah, again, really, really grateful to everyone who helped us out and uh, um, sorry if I forgot anyone, but it was great to see everyone and, um, yeah, four days in and out and we are back at sea. So, um, looking forward to getting back in the breeze and making miles east and heading towards Cape Horn. You.